Hello and uh, welcome to today's demonstration. My name is Brian and I'm a solutions engineer with Wakato. So for today's demo, I'm basically going to show you how you know we can integrate Microsoft Teams and Remedy Force. So for those of you who do not know, Remedy Force is basically a case management uh, application built on top of Salesforce that basically man allows you to you know manage all your cases and then track the status of the cases. So in today's demo, I'll show you how we can use WorkBot to actually run searches and you know update cases within Remedy Force. So on my right here, I have a window for Microsoft Teams, and on the left, I have a window showing you know all the cases that are open in Remedy Force. So as you can see, I have three uh, recent cases open in Remedy Force, and what I like to do now is you know search for these cases within WorkBot within uh, Microsoft Teams for WorkBot. So here I'll go ahead and type help. So WorkBot is pretty helpful. If you're not very sure what commands you can use, you can just you know simply type help and you know give this pop up. And here you can see that we can use Remedy Force. So if I click on this, it will tell me you know what uh, actions I can do. In this case, I would like to search for a case. Yeah, and. Realize that WorkBot is quite smart. It basically prompts me. It asks me to, it asks me to enter the case subject and it gives me some examples. So in this case, the way the search is set up, it's basically gonna do a free text search based on the subject. So for example, in this case, if I were to search for the word widgets, I will see that widgets appear in sample case one and two. So we'll have two that pop up. So I'm gonna demo that here and then just search for widgets. So I realized if I do that, you know, we found two cases and, you know, an another neat thing is that we can also, you know, click on the links provided by uh, WorkBot. So if we click on this, we realize that this particular case popped up. So this really saves a lot of time and allows you to easily, you know, from the search, straight away go into Salesforce and, and do the necessary editing of the record. So just wanted, just to show you another, you know, use case, another example so let's say if I only want, just want to pick up uh, the recent case where the word contains is contain is track so I can just do uh, instead of doing the help I can actually do remedy force search case and it will, I'll, in this case I'll just search for track and you know this one will pop up we just found one case so I mean doing searches is you know pretty nifty and and, and good but uh What's really powerful is that you know we can also do updating. So if let's say you know I want to update this particular sample case tree, one way is I can click on it and enter the Salesforce screen to do the necessary editing. But the real power of WorkBot comes with you know the ability to actually make the edits directly within uh, the chat window itself. So in this case, I would like to update sample case tree. The way to do that will be to do remedy force update case. And I'll need to know the case number, which I can, you know, easily copy from here and paste it inside here. And so now you ask me to, you know, enter the new case status. So the current case status is on hold. So I would like to change it to clo uh, escalated, for example. And now I need to enter the case type, of which, uh, you know, I have three options. And here I'll put, uh, it's maybe a feature request. case description. This is a test. So what happens now is uh, WorkBot is basically pushing all the data into Salesforce and you know, we can get all the information back here. So this is the updated uh, case. We see a type, this is feature request and description is this is test description and the status is escalated. So if you want to verify that it is indeed the case in Salesforce, just click on that link and wait for Salesforce to pop up. So here we can see this is a test description, feature request, escalated. So all the information is you know populated over. So uh, in the next uh, part of this uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually go ahead and uh, build this recipe within Wakato. So the first uh, recipe I'm going to go through is basically the searching for cases in Remedy Force. Okay, before we begin, uh, you know, we really need to understand what, uh, how 
you know, what is a recipe, right? So basically in Wakato, recipes are, you know, integration workflows, which contain steps. So here, as each row, for each row, I have a step. And in each step, you know, the steps can be uh, either searching or we can, we can basically do any kind of CRUD operations on the target applications. So the next two things that I'd like you to know about is uh, basically triggers and actions. So triggers are basically, you know, Wakato listening for events happening in a target application. So in this case, we are listening for new commands in Microsoft Teams uh, workboard. So whenever we type something here, that basically, you know, creates a trigger in uh, trigger something in Wakato and that creates a job and that job will actually be processed by Wakato in the form of uh, actions so what exactly are actions then uh, actions are basically you know steps in a recipe and these steps basically you know allow you to do uh, create read update or even delete operations on your target application so as you can see here in the very first action I have uh, you know read operation to search for cases using a so-called query in Salesforce so, all right. I'll now briefly go through what this recipe does. So, this recipe, if I open the trigger, I'll see that the command is for searching. So, earlier when I did the search, it basically was uh, triggered by this command, and the target application is remedy force on the case document. So, as you can see in Wakato here, we have a pretty easy to use interface. There's really no code required. Everything you know can just be done in the graphical user interface. And in fact, uh, you know, these, what we have here are data fields. And instead of just typing data fields here, we can actually, you know, drag and drop data fields in. So in this case, for example, if, if we want to look at the search, for example, here, currently we are searching for cases uh, in a Salesforce using this particular so-called query. If you can see here, the case subject that I'm using is basically from the previous action where where the user typed in something in Workbot. So Workato is basically lis listening for the event and extracting the case subject, which we typed in work in the Microsoft Teams uh, window, and it's using it within the within the so-called search query. So you can see it's it's really easy. You can just drag and drop into the data uh, into the data fields here. All right. So first step for this recipe will be to you know search for cases and then as you can see here we have this if statement so Mercato is pretty nifty we have this uh, conditional action so this allows us to do you know your traditional uh, if else statement so in this case if we are searching for cases in Salesforce and the list size is greater than zero that means we found something then we basically want to you know post a command to uh, Microsoft Teams to let the user know that we found something and then finally return all the objects that were found by the so-called query. And then here we have uh, some error handling here. So for example, if the list does not contain anything, that means we have not found any data from Salesforce, then we just want to let the user know that, hey, uh, there was no case found. So that's uh, that's it for the searching recipe. All right? And uh, I would like to move on to the update case. So here I have another recipe that actually allows us to do the updating. So similarly to the search, similar to the search uh, case, you know we start off with a Microsoft Teams workbot uh, command, but in this case, the command is update and uh, it's not search. So we basically you know search for the case in Salesforce to find to see whether the case that the user specified actually exists, and if it exists, we want to you know go ahead and update it. So you know, I, I previously showed you how we can drag and drop data fields into the data fields. Another another cool feature is that we can use this thing called formula mode. So, you know, Wakato uh, not only allows you to, you know, just drag and drop and use the data data from the previous steps through data fields, we also allow you to do data manipulation. So in this case, I'm basically taking the description and then I am basically converting it to lowercase. And then uh, I'm doing some uh, if else statement here. So basically, what this does is it allows me to ensure that when I'm doing the uh, when I'm updating the case, when I'm updating the case in uh, in Salesforce, this description doesn't really matter whether it's like uppercase or lowercase. So we can just you know we can just assume that it's gonna work fine. And next, uh, we're going to basically retrieve the latest uh, case from Salesforce and finally reply to the user so that the user knows that has some kind of uh, 
we basically let the user know that hey wh whatever you've updated it's indeed gone into Salesforce and here's the uh, here are the results and so in the last one we have some error handling so if you know we don't find any cases we're just gonna reply you and say that no case was found so at least the user gets some kind of response and it's not hanging Alright, so uh, you know these are the two recipes that we created for the uh, this demo. Um, I mean, if you if you are not able to you know grasp all the concepts uh, through this video, uh, don't worry, I'll be com uh, adding the links to both the recipes uh, in the video link. So you know you'll be easy it'll be easy for you to you know search and you know, look through in your free time. Uh, hope you have a great day and uh, you know thank you for your patience. Goodbye.